Capturing soil behavior and calibrating material models can be labor-intensive and time-consuming. However, with RS Data's Stress Path Graph features, you can now easily visualize and investigate complex material behavior and examine the influence of distinct material properties on the different aspects of the behavior, from start to failure and beyond. This tutorial looks at the observed laboratory behavior of Fraser River Sand and Mike Jeffrey's visual basic solution for the Norsan material model. These two will be compared with the simulation results from the Norsan constitutive model in RS Data. To begin this tutorial, go to the Norsan Fraser River Sand folder located in your Tutorials folder and open the Norsan Fraser River Excel file. In the Excel spreadsheet, you'll see the comparison between the experimental data and simulation results using Norsan Material Model. The material properties and test simulation setup are displayed next to the graphs. The Excel file includes the visual basic code for the Norsan Material Model. Now launch the RS Data program. Select Blank Project for the project template. For this tutorial, you'll be looking at the stress path graphs, so make sure to select the Stress Path Graph tab at the bottom of the program. On the left side of the program, you'll see the visibility tree. Your new project begins with a default material. Select the material, then name the material Fraser River Sand using the field provided in the Properties pane. Next, we'll import the experimental and numerical results from the Excel spreadsheet into RS Data. To do this, select Stress Path, Define Stress Path in the menu, or click on the Define Stress Path icon from the toolbar. The Define Laboratory Stress Path dialog will appear. Go to the Triaxial Simulation tab in the Excel spreadsheet. You will see the axial strain and axial stress for the RS Data Experiment tab. Notice that the first initial axial stress is 393.32. Now go back to RS Data and fill in the required data for defining the laboratory stress paths. For name, enter lab. Test type is triaxial test. Seepage condition is undrained. Loading direction is axial. Initial effective lateral stress is 392.32. And initial effective knot is 1. Go back to the spreadsheet and copy columns AF through AH. Go back to RS Data and paste the data to the table by selecting the Paste option. This will be the lab data. Next, we'll import the Visual Basic solution for the Norsan material model from the spreadsheet. Add another data set by clicking on the plus icon. Enter the following inputs. Name is MJ. Test type is triaxial test. Seepage condition is undrained. Loading direction is axial. Initial effective lateral stress is 395. And an initial effective K0 is 1. Go back to the spreadsheet and select columns AB to AD and copy all the data until the end of the columns. A quick way to do this is by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Down arrow on your keyboard. Return to the RS Data dialog and paste the data to the table by selecting the Paste option. Click OK. Now that you have stress paths imported from the spreadsheet, assign or add them to the material defined in RS Data. To do this, select the Apply Stress Path icon. Select both the stress paths we previously defined, then click OK. You should now be able to see the two plots, Lab and MJ, on the graphs. With the stress paths defined for the material, now you can define the material constitutive model. Select Materials, Define Material Models in the menu, or click on the Define Material Models icon in the toolbar. A dialog will appear. Change the name to Norsand. Return to the Excel spreadsheet and go to the Params and Plots tab. 
you'll see the soil properties. Return to RS Data and enter the following parameters from the Excel spreadsheet in the Strength tab. For failure criterion, select Nor Sand. Critical friction ratio, 1.47. We'll leave lambda as 0.06. Plastic hardening modulus is 75. Dilation coefficient is 3.2. Volumetric coupling coefficient will change to 0.5. Change in hardening modulus will change to 400. Initial state parameter stays as negative 0.025. Gamma stays at 1.2. Initial consolidation condition is OCR. OCR is 1.1. Then we'll check the box for cap softening and leave the default value for fluid bulk modulus. Now select the stiffness tab and enter the following parameters as shear modulus at reference is 40,000. Reference pressure for the shear modulus is 395. Modulus exponent is 0.47. Poisson's ratio is 0.15. And minimum shear modulus is 1. Now click OK. Next, add this material model to the sand material. Select Materials, Apply Material Properties. Ensure Fraser River Sand is selected in the dropdown and select Norsan for the material model. Click OK. Next, make an equivalent triaxial test setup in RS Data and add it to your material. To do so, select Tests, Define Test Simulation in the menu. Enter the following parameters into the dialog. Name is UTC. Test type is triaxial test. Seepage condition is undrained. Initial effective lateral stress is 395. Initial effective K-naught is 1. Maximum strain is 0.2. And the number of steps is 4,000. Select OK. Now select Tests, Apply Tests. Make sure Fraser River Sand Material and UTC are selected, and then click OK. You'll see that the UTC line is updated in the graph, and that it matches with the experimental and simulation data. Now change the volumetric strain of the y-axis of the top right graph to pour water pressure. We can do this by right-clicking on the graph and selecting Graph Editor. This change is made because for an undrained triaxial test, you don't need to look at volumetric strain it's more important to see pore water pressure. You can change the graph axis by changing the y-axis to pore water pressure. Click OK, and you can now see how the results are fully matched in all the stress path graphs. Using the Norsan constitutive model, you can easily measure material properties and capture the many aspects of soil behavior over a wide range of density and confining stress. Visit the link in the description below for more tutorials on RS Data or to start a free two-week trial.